Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel again. I want to do a quick tutorial on a program you may enjoy using called Poster My Wall. It's a free um, kind of poster collage making site. You can sign up for it. Uh, it only requires an email and a password. Um, if you're ever signing up for sites like this, so you need to get your parent permission to do so, but there's no cost to sign up. The advantage of signing up is that when you create something, it saves it, or you can save it and come back to it, edit it later, you have it, you know, going forward. But you don't have to actually sign up to use the site. You can simply just sit down, create something, download it, and you're good to go. Now it won't be saved, you can't come back to it and edit it later, but if you can sit down and create it start to finish in one sitting, you're fine to use it. So I'm at postermywall.com and let me show you how to use it um, for what you may be using for school or little projects. So I'm gonna go up here to start a project and choose poster. And it's gonna load and it's gonna ask me if I wanna search for certain templates. Now I can just go ahead and browse things through here, create my own, uh, you know, here's backgrounds I already have, or I could create from scratch. Uh, I'm going to type in here, and actually uh, I've got an option here, but I'm going to use uh, Valentine. And so it's going to bring me a, a section here on creating posters. And so it's found Valentine. So notice I actually even have that over here on the left, so I can click on that. And now I have a whole bunch of different Valentine's type posters. So we have a dance coming up uh, on the 13th, a student council Valentine's dance. So let's pretend I'm gonna make something for that. So I'm just gonna choose this one right here and choose create. And it's gonna go ahead and create the basics of my program. So I have different elements and when I click on the different elements, uh, I can change things. So for instance, instead of happy, perhaps I wanted to say MJHS Valentine's dance. So I'm gonna click on happy, and over here on the right, I've got a little text box. I'm gonna take happy out, and I'm gonna put MJHS. And so you notice when it did that, it made it a little large. Uh, there are some things I can do. I can click on these and kind of resize it a bit, raise it up there, that probably looks pretty good. And uh, if I wanted to, I could come down and change it from straight text to curved text. Uh, though I think I'm gonna leave it straight for what I have. Then I'm going to come down here and click on day. And I'm going to change day to dance. And so there we have dance. I might make it just a tad bigger and drag it right between those arrows. So I already have that going on. Uh, now you'll notice I have some pictures over here. And if I click on the picture, I have some options. I can replace the photo. Uh, but one thing we're going to notice, and, and let me go through this, and I'll, I'll show you something you got to be a little careful of. So let's just say I, I want to replace this photo. So I'm going to click on Replace Photo, and I haven't uploaded any yet, so I don't have anything here. Uh, I don't have Facebook photos that I want to use, so I'm going to go to Search the Web, and I can search the web. Now be careful here because uh, it defaults to Getty Images. And Getty Images is a stock image site that like professionals use. And you can buy images from them, but you don't want to use these. Now they'll let you use them free for this, but it's going to have a big watermark over it. So it's not going to make your picture look very good. So what I recommend is Pixabay. And if you click on Pixabay, you'll notice it says free. These are, uh, uh, there's no, um, price or cost for getting a Pixabay image. So I'm going to search for dance, hit enter, and it's going to search the Pixabay images that have dance. And I'm going to find one. Let's use, uh, I'm going to use this one right here and click selected, use selected image. And it's going to ask me if I want to crop it. And so I could drag this around to be exactly where I want. So let's put it right there and I'm going to choose crop. And let's see what happens. Well, it seems to have disappeared. Okay, so what what ended up happening in this situation was when I clicked on the picture, what I was actually clicking on, I didn't realize it, was I was clicking on this little Polaroid frame, and I replaced that as opposed to the picture that's behind the frame. So it's something to be a little careful of if you see these kind of Polaroids. You might want to drag that off. Now, in this case, um, it added the picture, but it stuck it back here behind. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to click on it and hit remove. And there it goes. And here's the picture that I added. And I'm going to come over here and choose bring to the front. Okay, now we have it here at the front. Now the problem is I don't have 
this little guy anymore. So uh, there's some options I could do. I could click duplicate, and that's going to make a duplicate copy. I could drag it over. But let me show you some other things you could do. So with my image selected, I can come over here, and one of my options is edge effects. So I could choose different things. One of them is a heart-shaped edge, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. So I have my heart-shaped edge, uh, and so it kind of gives it this cool little frame. So then I could come back here to these others. Again, what I did was I drug the Polaroid frame off. Someone click on this, uh, do replace photo, go back to Pixabay. Let's find us another dance picture. Uh, let's see. Oh, I misspelled dance, so let's correct that. And let's add this one. That was pretty cool. Crop that one. And so when it adds this one here, notice again it put it kind of in the back. So all I have to do is click on it and say bring to front. And now I'm going to click on the Polaroid frame and do bring to front. And now I can just put that right over the top. And it looks just like we had it before. So you can kind of repeat the process. You have different things you can do. Like here's my heart one. I could go and add drop shadows. Uh, I could add a glow around it. So now it's got a little light glow. Uh, you can add borders. Uh, all sorts of different things you can do. You can even change the color of the glow if you wanted the glow to be more of a red glow. See how it does that there. So once you get everything the way you like it, um, over on the left, you do have some other options. Right now, we've been just replacing what was already here. But on the left, I could add more text to it, fancy text. I could add my own clip art. I could add more pictures, all sorts of things there. You also have your undo button here on the, on the left. Now, if you are logged into your account, you could save things and come back to it. But for what we're doing today, you just make something and save it or download it. So when you're ready, you're going to come over here to download. And when you click download, you're going to see you got options. You can buy it and you can buy it. What we're going to do is free because we don't want to spend money. So we click download and it's going to ask us where we want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. You'll want to save it to your personal directory. And um, so I'm just going to click save and it has saved it to my desktop so if i go to my desktop now and look for it i should have a poster my wall uh, file and let's see here it is poster my wall and when i open it here it is and since i didn't use any pictures from getty images the only watermark i have is this very small one that says poster my wall if I'd used some images from Getty Images, I'd have a Getty Images watermark, and that doesn't look good. So in just a matter of seconds, I created something really cool that you know I could use in presentations, I could use on posters that I'm making, or just for general information um, you know, that I need to put something around the school. So that's all you have to do to use Poster My Wall. Highly recommend it. We use it in social studies quite a bit, and it's a really, really, really cool program. As always, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.